Welcome to the Bullhorn. We're talking about Russia in light of the successful Yandex IPO. We should have taped this show from Brighton Beach, the Russian enclave in Brooklyn. Yeah. It's so nice. Have a hot out. dog. Exactly. I'm actually by proxy long uh, uh, the RSX, mm -hmm. which is a, a Russian fund. Uh, not a big position, but it's a, it's a way to have exposure to Russia. Russia has a long history of taking money away from the rich. So I think they have a lot to prove. Those petro oligarchs in uh, Russia don't have the best of reputations. But seriously, though, Yandex, everyone kind of refers to it as the Google of Russia, or if you want, you can call it maybe the Baidu of Russia. Mm -hmm. It had a very strong debut, not as well as LinkedIn, but hey, 55% in one day is, is very, very good. What do you think about potential for other Russia internet IPOs? I mean, is Yandex really going to be the only one that has enough to kind of make it in the U.S.? Or are I, there others you're looking at at it, all? It's the question. I think it's it's related to the sentiment. Right mm -hmm. now, great timing for mm -hmm. them uh, on, the, on the heels of LinkedIn. You have Zynga also announcing maybe last night that they're going to do an IPO. Yeah, they're rumored to be filing very and, soon. And those are Russian investors. And you can actually trade DST mm -hmm. uh, on the exchanges, which is the Russian company that's been investing in a lot of these companies, right. which are Russian holding companies. But Yandex on his own, no. One stock does not a market make. Uh, RSX is obviously a more diversified uh, holding around Russia. But Russia is very volatile. Right. RSX was a $60 stock uh, mm -hmm. pre-bubble in 2008, went all the way to $9. So you're talking about an index, a country with an index that was down almost 90%. So again, if you're buying Russia, right. even if you're using US as a proxy to buy Russia, you gotta be careful. Would you advocate trying to have a more diverse emerging market strategy. There are brick ETFs out there instead of, say, just buying Yandex and let that be your only investment in, in Russia. Yeah, I mean, the market. we've got this new web craze that's carried on in China. It's now in Russia. It's in Brazil. But uh, what works in U.S. does not necessarily work. They're, they're structuring these deals to look and feel like American companies, but there's a whole different set of internet access rules in these countries. You know, in China, you can't get on Facebook, you can't get on Twitter. Right. You're using Weibo. So is, is Yandex the winner? Uh, based on just government policy, it's probably a winner in terms of Google trying to beat them there mm -hmm. or, or, or Yahoo for that matter. But uh, what are those companies worth and what is the size of the market? You know, it's just too early to tell. Investors have been looking at some other Russian companies that trade here. VIP is a, a telecom that mm -hmm. uh, has traded here, uh, MTL Steel Company. And then uh, uh, WBD is another interesting one, a beverage company that Pepsi actually is owning a big, has bought a big stake in. Do you think there's the potential for more Fortune 500 US firms looking at Russia as this emerging growth market and investing directly? Um, you know, you never know what's in the head of Pepsi to do the deal. Obviously, they thought they were getting a great deal. Uh, you got currency risk, you have government risk, but it's not like StockTwits or, or some of these young companies are thinking about Russia. There's right. so much growth available right now in the United States if you find the right sectors. That this is this is just something that's going to be on the roadmap now for the next 20 years. It's not right. something you have to think about the second day after they IPO. Great. All right. Well, Yandex, undeniably a successful IPO, is that Yakov Smirnoff, the uh, the once famous Russian sitcom star, uh, probably would say, "What a country!" But I think we all want to know. Borat wants to know when the Google of Kazakhstan make the the nice, sexy IPO. We had the one nice. Russian stock tweet that uh, said, "How do I short?" It was in Russian. It was in how Russian. Do I get, yes. so how do I get some uh, Yandex stock to short?